We've now got um, eight five-minute presentations, the first of which is discussing the prevalence of low back pain in adolescent rowers, and uh, that's Dr. Leo Ung from the School of Physiotherapy and, at, and Curtin Health Innovation Research Institute, Curtin University. Right, so adolescent back pain has been shown to be a major risk factor in back pain in adulthood. It is important for physios to identify the risk groups early so that we can better manage and better prevent this condition. Rowing has been shown to be a popular sport in both male and female adolescents. And uh, research has actually shown, sorry, research has actually shown that there's a high prevalence of low back pain in adult rowers but there's a lack of research in adolescents at the moment. Therefore, the aim of our study is to actually um, find out the prevalence, lifetime and point prevalence of low back pain in adolescent rowers. So what did we do? We recruited 392 adolescent rowers in Perth in Western Australia. We gave them all a questionnaire and we tried to find out their lifetime prevalence, which is just a simple question to say that, have you ever had one episode of low back pain in your life? Second question is point prevalence. It's while we're recruiting and while you're doing this survey, do you currently have low back pain? The survey was implemented during their rowing season. And if they did have back pain, we wanted to see how intense their back pain was, so the pain intensity using the VAS score. And we also asked them a self-reported primary factor that they think aggravates their back pain. The results showed that there's a high prevalence of low back pain in both adolescent male and adolescent female rowers. Adolescent male rowers were about 30% more likely to have back pain at any stage in their life compared to females. And then they were about 26% more prevalent in, um, to have back pain at the time of the questionnaire compared to the female rowers. Both groups showed that there was a moderate intensity of back pain. This did reach statistical significance, but it wasn't clinically significant. So what did the rowers tell us about how they're getting the back pain, the mechanism of their back pain? Most of them actually said that it's ergometer rowing that actually increased their back pain or is a primary factor for their low back pain. Second is actually lifting the boat. And thirdly is a change of training intensity. And for the adolescent rowers, it's quite common for them to have intense training camp during school holidays. And that is where a lot of them are telling us that's where uh, we started getting back pain. If we compare our data with some normative data from Perth, Western Australia, we can find that there's qu quite a lot, um, sorry, adolescent rowers Tend to, have, tend to have a higher prevalence of back pain than non-rowers. So male rowers, point prevalence was 72.2, and the only data we've got is actually a month prevalence for male adolescents in Perth, which is whether they've had back pain in the last month, and that is at 24%. And the female rowers, 45.8% is what we found in the rowing population, and for the age match uh, control group, it was 15.5%. So what does it mean to us? There is a high prevalence of low back pain in adolescent rowers. Males are more at risk of low back pain than females. We believe that there's a higher prevalence of low back pain in the rowers compared to the non-rowers. They are rowing at fairly clinically significant pain level. And we believe that loading factors as compared to psychosocial factor is actually the dominant uh, risk factors for the low back pain. Further research is definitely needed in order to find the mechanism of the back pain and also treatment for low back pain because it's not our goal to actually just tell people, hey, low back pain is quite common in, in rowing. We actually, as physios, really want to get them to participate in the sport safely. Thank you.